Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program 2 video. Now if you've been paying attention to what's going on in YouTube, you probably already know this, but there is now live gameplay of KSP2 over there at ESA as, as tech, tech in the, the Netherlands. Netherlands. They had a preview event for KSP2. Many different creators went there. Scott Manley, Matt Laun, Jatois, Everyday Astronaut. I really wish I could have gone, but that would have costed a lot of money and I didn't have the time. Hopefully it wasn't an, in, an invite only where they paid for everything that, that would mean that I was completely passed under the radar <laughs> shit but still I would have loved to go and meet everybody that would have been pretty awesome so what can we tell from the footage that we got from these amazing creators? Well, obviously, the game is still very beta when they went to go test it. Lots of bugs, but all of these will be pretty much ironed out by the time the game releases. Things like auto struts weren't a thing, but from what I understand, they will be when the game releases. Some controls for the wings were a little too snappy. Reminds me of KSP1 when it first came out. And there are some things that, while looking at the footage, Makes me wonder if they're making things a little too harder than what they need to be, such as the fairings. As Matt discovered, the fairings are no longer drawn onto the craft by just a few mouse movements and a few clicks. Now you have to drag and click several arrows in order to get your fairing just right. It's like we went from this to this. A lot of people are concerned about the system OP requirements, but we will just have to see when the game comes out just how playable or unplayable it may or may not be. Also, the apparent sheer lack of planet shine. But don't worry, I'm pretty sure they'll iron all this out later on. The amazing thing about this game, of course, is, is the graphics. It's off the freaking charts, and from what I understand, down the line when they do more optimizations and they add more stuff, it's going to be even more beautiful. The tutorials are pretty cool if you're first, if you're just starting off in KSP. Reminds me a lot of that channel called, was it Korskazat in a nutshell? You know what I mean. Also, being able to paint your rocket or rover or plane is pretty cool. Oh, or boat, by the way. They have a place where you can launch watercraft. Pretty cool. Also a slew of new parts, a larger nuclear engine from what I understand. Also new fuel types, well for the game actually, for the, for, for the game. There are some fuel types that you'll need to run certain engines, like the nuclear engine in Kerbal Space Program 2 will no longer run on just liquid oxygen, <laughs> liquid fuel, but rather hydrogen, you know like the real thing. Stuff like that, pretty cool. Again I really wish I could have gone, that would have been amazing. From what I understand they only had about three hours to play it, but what they did play was really off the charts. This Friday, the game will release, and I will be one of the first, or many of the first, to purchase it and to stream it for as long as I can. Hopefully it will run on my computer, as good as I hope it will, probably, I don't know. <laughs> From what I understand, it will come out about 9 o'clock a.m. my time. I'm Eastern Standard Time for the U.S. So once I download it, I'll go ahead and start streaming. So look forward to that. Anyway, this has been a real quick video of Kerbal Space Program 2. Nothing too in-depth. I just thought I'd make a real quick video. Real quick, quickie. Whoa. Will I be still playing KSP1 after KSP2 comes out? Probably yes. Because from what I understand, KSP2 will still have a lot of things that need to be worked on. And so I can see a lot of people going back to KSP1 until things at KSP2 straighten out a little bit more. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, everybody. Love you all. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for watching. And definitely look forward for the stream on the 24th of this week. 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Well, actually, it wouldn't be at 9, huh? I still have to download it and all this other good stuff. So probably about 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. I I'll let you guys know. Stay safe out there, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.